वेलकम बैक है सो अर्ली एक्सेस टू पे डे थ्री इज नाउ अवेलेबल यू कैन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर इट फ्रॉम द गेम्स टीम स्टोर पेज यू विल फाइंड दिस ऑप्शन राइट बिलो द बाइंग ऑप्शन पे डे थ्री इज अ गोवा फर्स्ट पर्सन शूटर गेम विल बी रिलीज ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग माई स्टीम डेक यूजिंग स्टीम हर्स आई हेव इंस्टॉल द गेम ऑन एन एस एस टी एस के हैन एक्स पी सी सेवन वन वन इन ऑर टू प्ले दिस गेम यू नीड टू हैव अ नेबुलर स्टार ब्रीज अकाउंट सो जस्ट ओपन अ वेब प्रोस एंड गो टू दिस वेबसाइट एल गिव इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो Click on Sign Up here for new users. Enter your credentials and create your account. This is Steam running in desktop mode. You won't be able to run the game out of the box on Steam OS. When you click on Play, this error will pop up. It says the following components are required to run this program: Microsoft Visual C++ runtime. I'll show you how to install this. Close the error prompt. Just open Proton Tricks application. You can download it for free from Discover Store. Look for Payday 3 Beta. There it is. Double click it. Wait for a few seconds for the next window to pop up. Select select the default Wine Pix option here. Click on OK. Select install a Windows DLL or component. Click on OK. This window will pop up. Just scroll down until you find BC Run 2022. Select it. Install it by clicking on OK here. It will take some time for this setup window to pop up. Click on I agree, then click on install. Wait for the installation to complete. There you go. Another window will pop up. Do the same thing again. Agree, install, close. That's it. Close this window. We are ready to run the game. I'll switch to Steam gaming mode. Game info section for Payday 3 Steam Deck compatibility marked as unknown. I'm using G Proton version 8-14 as the compatibility layer. Start the game. This game will also be available on Game Pass day one of its release. When the game starts, just sign into your Nebula Starbase account. Enter the credentials here. We are in. I'll show you the game settings. This game does not support FSR. 800p resolution using the low settings depth of field disable performance tab only level set to 3 frame rate limit set to 60 that's it objective enter the box is brimming with cash waiting to be transported out they can see it has dropped down to 24 it in the gp portal now keep an eye out He is drawing almost 25 watts of power. I just cast the FPS to 30. Enter the bank. My teammates. We need to get past that gate in front of the vault. 26 FPS. The security gate door is magnetically sealed. You need to take out the power before you can disable the lock. Find the circuit breaker connected to it. Now the guards are here. Try to unlock this door. Lock pick. There you go. Camera near me. Forget about the objectives. I just rob the bank, equip my mask, take out my gun, start killing the people. Cops will be coming. Here goes the alarm. Need the thermite. Go to the roof. Collect the equipment. Waiting for the drop. Up 
Shall be here soon. My drop will be here. That's not in there. Cops are there. The other building. Not a good thing. One of these guys has sniper rifles. Need to be quick. Here is the help. Take a shortcut. Keep an eye out. Hostage rescue is on the scene. If you get the thermite to burn faster, if you add more bags to the fire, just don't let it overdo it. Ignited. Observing a few FPS drops here. Check out the water alarm. We can turn on the sprinklers. There we go. Twenty seven FPS. No cost. There's a lot of action going on. FPS can drop down to as low as twenty seven. I hope FSI two is added to the game in the final release. I'll end the video here, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.